Welcome back. The Enforcement Directorate has provisionally attached immovable and movable properties worth 97.79 crore rupees. And all of that belongs to Raj Kundra, who is the husband of Bollywood superstar Shilpa Shetty. All of this done has been, uh, all of the attachments have been done under the provisions of the Prevention of Money Laundering Act. The attached properties include residential flat that's situated in Juhu. In fact, uh, we, uh, we believe that this... Uh, Residence is in the name of Shilpa Shetty. Uh, bungalow situated in Pune and equity shares, all of that has been attached by the Enforcement Directorate. The properties include a residential flat, as I just mentioned, in Juhu and said that the property is in the name of his wife, Shilpa Shetty. So that's the big news coming in. The Enforcement Directorate in Mumbai attaching immovable and movable properties worth 97 crore rupees belonging to Raj Kundra under the provisions of the PMLA 2002 Act. Anshul joins us now for the very latest. Anshul, tell us a little bit more. Why have these properties been attached by the Enforcement Directorate? Is this related to the cryptocurrency case that was being investigated by the Enforcement Directorate? Uh, so yes, this is very much the same case that was being investigated by the Enforcement Directorate. Remember, this entire ECI that was registered by the Enforcement Directorate was uh, based on multiple FIS that were filed against Raj Kundra and his company uh, by the Delhi Police and the Mumbai Police. Now, the basic allegation against Raj Kundra and his company is that uh, he told uh, gullible people uh, through multi uh, MLM agents that his company had hired that uh, if at all they invest through bitcoins in their company, they will get uh, a, a return of 10% every month. And that promise eventually failed and that is the reason why FIS was registered in this entire matter. Now, uh, through this entire process, uh, the main accused, who is the owner of the company, Amit Bhardwaj, was actually able uh, to get 285 uh, 285 uh, bitcoins and worth worth more than 150 crores of rupees and this bit, this bitcoin was eventually given to Raj Kundra and Raj Kundra is still very much in possession of these bitcoins is what the enforcement directed claims 285 bitcoins are still in the name of Raj Kundra and remember the basic allegation still is that Raj Kundra and through his company actually falsely claimed to two gullible people that he could be he would be able to give them a 10% uh, return every month by the way of bitcoins and mm -hmm. that is the reason why this entire investigation was taken up by the enforcement directed now uh, at this point since the investigation is still underway three people have already been taken into custody who right. belong uh, to that company that made this uh, false promise and that company that is associated with Raj Kundra and now today uh, properties worth rupees 97 crores have been seized by the enforcement directed these, uh, okay. these include the residential uh, property of uh, of Shilpa, uh, on the name of Shilpa Shetty in Juhu. Another flat has been seized in, in Pune as well. Also, uh, the shares have also been taken, uh, ha has also been attached by the enforcement directorate. So definitely troubles for the Bollywood power couple seems to be increasing. Uh, the manner in which the enforcement directorate is going ahead, we can expect that some more stringent action could be taken against Ra Raj Kundra. Right. Stay on with me, Anshul. Yesha also joins us. Uh, Yesha, the, Raj Kundra had also been earlier questioned by the Enforcement Directorate in connection with the money laundering probe related to the Bitcoin case. Will he be called by the Enforcement Directorate again? And the other quick question, follow-up question is, all these properties that have been attached, are they all in his name or his wife uh, Shilpa Shetty's name? Uh, so, yes, uh, like Anshul has already mentioned, uh, the properties that have been attached. Uh, one is uh, the residential property in Juhu. Uh, which is in the name of Shilpa Shetty Kundra. Apart from that, the other property, that is the bungalow at uh, Pune, is in the name of Raj Kundra, and there are assets, which includes equity, which are in the name of Raj Kundra. So, Raj, this is not the first time that Raj Kundra is under the input directly scanner. In fact, before this, not only in this case, but Raj Kundra was also uh, summoned and questioned by enforcement directly in the earlier case of uh, pornographic racket. In fact, he was also at that time arrested by Mumbai police. That is, uh, Mumbai police were questioning him in that case, but in this case, when we see this case relates to uh, the arrest uh, of Shimpi Bharadwaj and uh, people related to her. In fact, in this case, we also understand that there are uh, two accused, that is Rajay Bharadwaj and Mahindra Bharadwaj, who are uh, uh, absconding in this case. And on the case pertains to uh, crypto uh, money laundering and a cryptocurrency case of 6600 crores. And this is uh, dating back from 2017 itself. Uh, like I already mentioned that this, uh, it was, uh, in this case, it was uh, people who were promised that they would be getting 10% returns per month. And uh, Raj Kunda has himself received 285 bitcoins uh, from the mastermind of this case, which is Amit Bharadwaj. Uh, they were running uh, the game Bitcoin Ponzi scam. Uh, and uh, it was said that this Bitcoin farming uh, was going on in Ukraine. Now, uh, because uh, Enforcement Directorate has already submitted uh, a charge sheet in this case, uh, the charge sheet, there have been two charge sheets that have been 
communication which is that we see now uh, there are attachments which are being made the attachments in this case there have already been attachments what 69 crores earlier in this case and right now the attachment that we speak of is actually uh, 97.79 crores belonging to uh, raj kunda which is also in the name of him as well as his wife that is shilpa shetty kunda uh, this case is in fact uh, an ed case uh, pertaining to mumbai as well as delhi mm-hmm. uh, wherein there has been uh, there have been allegations of large amount of uh, bitcoins being given to people and this was in fact done to online wallets so people who are uh, people who say people are given bitcoins and then later on they, they were told that right, they right. be receiving uh, money back in their online wallet Interesting. Yes. The central agency, uh, Anshul, had also expanded its probe into this case and had been investigating related Bitcoin or cryptocurrency transactions uh, that have been under the scanner of the other departments. Did they file a criminal case against Raj Kundra? If you could just refresh our memories, because I do remember that a criminal case was uh, filed against the uh, the Bitcoin-based investment website Gain Bitcoin. If I'm not mistaken, the founder Amit Bhardwaj and there were the others as well. But what was the case against Raj Kundra? Uh, so yes, so what sources within the enforcement directorate are telling us is that uh, Raj Kundra was associated with this entire company, and the proceeds of crime, that is, these bitcoins that were uh, taken by Amit Bhardwaj in the name of his company, the two eighty five bitcoins were eventually transferred to uh, to Raj Kundra, and Raj Kundra still is in possession of all those two eighty five. a uh, bitcoin is the basic allegation and that is the reason why the enforcement directorate has gone ahead and attached these properties belonging to raj kundra and it is also being alleged that especially the flat that has been taken into custody or th- that has been attached by the enforcement directorate that flat was brought from that money that that had come in from the uh, from those uh, ponzi B- bitcoin schemes so definitely the allegations against raj kundra is definitely very very uh, serious in nature and uh, the case that uh, the eci that uh, that has been registered by the uh by the enforcement directorate the predicate offense was actually with the delhi police and with the mumbai police where the investors in these companies had gone ahead and filed this complaint and had said that uh, the said uh, the said company gain bitcoins had gone ahead uh, had gone ahead and promised right. them a 10% of return every month okay. if at all they invest in the in that company and that promise was not fulfilled and that is the reason why initially this case was registered and then the enforcement directorate took the investigation uh, over and now is investigating this entire matter all right anshul and yesha thank you both for joining us big news coming in with the ed attaching immovable and movable properties worth 98 crore rupees uh, of uh, raj kundra in the bitcoin cryptocurrency case short break right here on the broadcast keep watching i'll be back with lots more